Hi, Russ here, and in this video we're going to look at using conditional formatting in Microsoft Word. Now, if you've used programs like FrameMaker before, then you'll know that you get this conditional formatting option, which is a really, really useful feature, um, but unfortunately it's not available in, in Word. However, we can use Word's functionality to give us just this simple option of actually adding on additional information under certain conditions. Um, and this is going to be really, really useful if, like, for example, you create two versions of the same document. Let's say one version is for like a public facing document, you know, which is going to be a reduced version. And then you have an internal private document, which has got the extra information and all of the things like that. I mean, for, for me, I mean, I remember back to my army days when we used to print out the, the exercise instructions for the students. Um, and then you'd also have what they called the, like the, the directing, the directing soldiers, the directing services, like the DSP, which is like the master. Now that's what you would actually use here. You know, you have the reduced version, which you give out, and then you have the main, the master version for yourself. And that's essentially what we can do here with this conditional formatting. Um, it's only really restricted to one level. But that's, like I say, good for like public and private, or let's say, for example, you have software and you want to have a user guide and an admin guide, that kind of thing. Um, but to go more than one level in Word does get a little bit clunky. So we'll just lim limit it to that one level at the moment. Okay. So if you look up on the styles ribbon here, you can see that I've got four, four main styles in use in the document. There's the body text, there's the heading one, the admin, this is the admin body and this is the admin heading, just, just for, for um, the purposes of this demonstration. Now the beauty of this system is you can actually add as many hidden styles as you want or conditional styles as you want, but I'm just using the two for the purposes of, of this demo. And as always, we, we turn on the apply styles box. If you don't know how to do that, you click on the drop down arrow there and then you'll get the apply styles. And this shows us what styles we've got in the document. Okay. Now for this, we have to use VBA, Visual Basic for Applications. The codes here, Developer, Visual Basic, and th this is the simple code that we use. Um, and I've also created like a little menu here, which is in three sections, where I can print a default printer, print a PDF, and then I can show hide the nav pane, and, and, and just this button here for toggling the text. So if I want to turn the nav pane on and off, I click here. If I want to turn the conditional formatting on and off, I click here like so. Okay, and that's essentially how this works. Very, very straightforward. And like all things in Word, or most things in Word, I should say, it's based on the styles that we actually use, these ones here. As you can see here, a clear um, distinction between the heading and the actual body text. And all we need to do now to show and hide is to do that. And the way this actually works is if you go to any of the start, any of the font attributes, if you click on this drop down arrow here, then what we're using is this effect. We're using the hidden effect here. That's all we're actually doing. So when we hide, hide the text, we're just hiding it from view. Okay. Now, if I want to print, to print a hard copy, then I can choose to print only the main text, i.e. the user guide, or I can print out the complete document for my admin guide or, you know, my, my public facing, my, my internal private document. Or, for demonstration purposes and, you know, for useful functionality, we can print to PDF. So if I just want the main text, then I'm going to just call this main text only. It's printing to my doc dump folder which is this one here which is currently empty and I print main text only it doesn't take long and there we go there's my PDF my my user guide let me just run this little this little process here and I can close and then I can open up my document there's no actual bookmarks in this document I didn't build it that way but as you can see There's our public facing document or our basic user guide, as simple as that, yeah? Now, if I come back to the document and I want to print out the complete doc, I don't even have to view it. All I need to do is 
complete doc document. And there we go. And there's our complete document. There's our private facing or our admin guide or whatever else you wanted to do. Now the code is really, really easy. Um, if you want this template, just ping me and let me know. Um, and all it's doing is just calling this, this information here. And like, as you can see here, we have the admin style and the admin heading. And what all we're doing here is we're saying, look, if, if it's hidden, show up. If it's not hidden, are you visible then hide it that's all we're doing and because we're basing this on styles all we, all we need to do if we want to add another style is we go back to word we click on enter return there click on create a new style we call this for the purposes of this i'll call this admin one modify and it's because it's based on admin, it will pick up the hidden attributes. So if I change the the color of the background to this turquoisey blue, now I've got admin one style. And let me indent that to 1.5, then I update and admin one. And if I come back to the, in fact, I don't need to come back to the code because it will pick up the attribute anyway. However, if you wanted to make, if you were going to build this, build a lot more styles, and then you would just add, all you need to do, is just add the code there, and change the attribute. So, and there we go. And again, if I wanted to print out the complete document, Complete document two. As soon as it's ready, there we go. And that's how we use conditional formatting in Microsoft Word. Hope that helps.